It's a lot of dust for sitting here. I'm gonna wipe up the dust and then go for a lighting test. Right now we are using, I believe it's a ND 30 second filter. And the ISO is set on auto, so it goes to maximum 3200. I was going to set my ISO to 800, but um, in some dark situation like this right now, I think the ISO, if I just let it run on auto, it will work out better. More of a seamless transition, so this is more of a test in a darker space, which is not really that dark, it's just open the garage door. But for the camera, it is indoor. So this is more of a indoor-outdoor transition. Also, I turn off the de-warp, allow the video to be more warped because uh, Osmo Action has a de-warp option, which is great for most of the cases. But I realize the the amount of stuff I capture is much less because it's a corrupted video. As they readjust the warping, the video is a little smaller. So if you already shoot on the less 1080p setting, um, your actual resolution is even smaller. I realized in previous testing video, the resolution wasn't that great. So right now we're testing at 2K and see if the resolution is back up a little bit better. If not, we'll go to 4K. The issue with 4K is uh, I would need to reprocess a different video just for the Instagram because Instagram does not take 4k every time I upload 4k the file failed so let's try 2.5 2.7k if a 2.7k is okay with the Instagram then we'll shoot from 2.7k or we can go back to 1080 1920 by 1080p resolution uh, with D warp on but I think the 2k will have a good quality video so this is in and out the garage to see if the lighting is not as bad should have a seamless transition what happened so this thing snapped i guess my wife snapped one of the cab off Need to cut that off. Cool. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. Thanks. You take care. So, my Amazon guy stopped by and dropped out the package. I took it. I'm now going for a drive. I sure the lighting. Still testing out the lighting for the outside. So I turned it on while he was filming it. Go ahead and uh, just drive around the neighborhood, see how it works. See if this lighting with a uh, we're not right now we're not running on the PL filter, just ND32. I did I did a little lighting um, test went back in my office, looking out the window, pretending I'm inside the car. And uh, yeah, so I choose ND32. I can go 16, but if I go 16, the ISO uh, the ISO would go up fairly, well go down fairly quick to 40, 400. 200, 100, 
But if the sun comes out, then I'm screwed because I run out of ISO very quick. Um, I had a phone right now linked to the. Let me turn on the music. Link to the camera so I can see exactly what the camera sees. This way I can keep the view. What I want to do is to keep the view below the ceiling and everything beyond it, be, uh, under the ceiling. Otherwise, I have to go four by three setup. Let's see, take a look. Some music. So let me know how you guys like the warp effect. I can de-warp it, but I think the warp effect is really cool. Uh, basic warp is, uh, there's a lens, there's a 140, 145 degree lens in the front. So it's just a little bit of fish fisheye lens, but it's not so much. It's a factory lens from Osmo Action. Um, I kind of like it because when I de-warp it, the resolution becomes smaller and everything is flat, which is okay, but in the car setting, I kind of like to see a little bit warp on the screen, especially on the YouTube screen, so I guess it's more of an environmental awareness uh, feel when viewers are watching it. When I de-warp it, when I de-warp it, it feels like it's not as... I don't feel like I'm immersed into the camera, the entire drive, as much as more I'm watching a, more of a restricted camera view. So... Let's go ahead and do... Let's let this guy pass, I'm gonna go in. This lady pass, I'm gonna go back in. To here. So, N32 is a little darker than I, I want to do. Uh, like I said, the ISO would drop fairly quick. If it gets brighter, it will go to from 800 to 400 and 200 and 100. Right now, the ISO is running on... It's hard to tell. It didn't tell me on the screen. I wish it tells me on the screen. Let me see if it tells me on the screen. ISO on auto, but no, it's not telling me. I would guess the ISO right now is running about 800 to 400. As the sun gets brighter, the ISO will go up to 200, and I only had the lowest is 100 ISO. So that won't be so great if I run out of the ISO and the entire video footage overexposed like before. So. The reason I got the filter, I actually got this for half price because it was open item used. Um, but it was a $250 um, Polar Star filter for Osmo for entire 10 filters. ND and NDPL filters from A264. Right now it's 30 second. ND 30 second with no PL. Because the sun is not out. I, when I use the PL, the sun, when the sun is not out, I... Well, when, the, when I use the PL filter, when the sun's out, it's better because it, you reduce the glare. But when there's no sun, it actually makes the the lens create different colors, almost uh, like a rainbowish color when there's no sun. So we don't need that. Okay, and it's still a testing video. Uh, what else I want to talk about? Oh yeah, the the shutter speed is is basically double for cinematic view, uh, double of the the frame rate. So right now we're running on 24 frames per second, and the shutter speed is 1 to 50. And I I went ahead to do the color automatic color correction. I turned that off from normal to decolor, cinematic decolor. Again, I just, everything I want to try is more towards cinematic settings. Even though the editing is not going to be that cinematic. Hopefully the the view will. The sun just came out a little bit. Let me just look look towards the front. See if I can get a, the ISO to pop. So you can, if you look on the screen, now the ND32 filter should work out very well. Because the ISO will probably pop to 400 to 200 in between. So it's not overexposed outside. And inside is... It's fine. I'm not sure you can. Let me see if I can point it down. And look at the, the dashboard. If you can read the dashboard. If not, then then it's not. I guess. 
but at least the outside is not overexposed. That's the main goal, to not have overexposed exterior. The sun came out a little bit. I will put the settings on the bottom of the screen or on top, uh, probably on the bottom of the screen and I'll do a few more videos but I think I like this setting um, at the moment because it looks great on the cell phone it looks great on the cell phone um, while the sun came out a little, mo little more that is great let's see if we can see, see a dash not sure I can really tell just unless I look right into it and then looking at the cell phone the lighting inside and outside, it looks almost identical as where I'm seeing right now. Kind of liking it. Of course, I could have used the PL filter. Right now the sun's out, I can do a hot swap really, really quick. Turn to a PL setting. Polarized setting. Uh, let's just try the ND. For now, I can always switch to PL when it's, when it's always bright outside. We just see that BMW fairly clear. So with the PL filter, because this entire car is inside and it's tinted inside and tinted in the windshield, uh, the windshield in the front is clear tint, but has a UV, UV light protection. So the PL filter will make this entire inside of the windscreen, windshield screen, almost like a rainbow color due to its, uh, its tinted. We'll see if it works out. This is actually a great test going through the tunnel. I would love to see when I get home how that footage look. Maybe I'll do a quick playback. The sensitivity. I think I have the sen light sensitivity turned very low, so it doesn't keep changing the light settings all the time. Uh, it's irritating when the light settings just keep changing, try to adjust to the light. So if I turn it to the low sensitivity, it doesn't affect the viewer as much. When it gets dark, it just gets dark, like how you normally see um, as a person. Not like a camera. You can't really change your light eye sensitivity that quick. This is a uh, Xinhua Li Plaza. I'm pretty sure yesterday there's a Stop Asian Hate thing going through here. A event. A lot of people complain about it. I think it's great uh, to have a role model for a lot of younger kids to see other successful Asians. Uh, typically, you don't get to see that because Asians are very conservative. They like to not show off their wealth. They like, you know, drive shitty Camrys. Um, I'm not saying other race skin colors. Generalization as a culture wise, they typically don't really show. Um, or they even match to their status. I would say most of it. And when we do get people like to show, they're really going all out. So it's, it's fairly extreme when you get to the few percentage they like to show off their wealth. Um, I didn't buy a Lamborghini or Ferrari at the moment because I I like, always want a Corvette, and obviously other people look at me buying a Corvette, hang out with other Lamborghini drivers, or you know, more wealthier people, or equally wealthy, owns a Lamborghini or Ferrari, they think I'm, you know, probably don't think I have as much money. I just didn't want to buy a Ferrari or Lamborghini right now. Doesn't mean I don't have the money, I could, I can go buy it, but just, I want a Corvette, this point of my life. And in the f future, I want to, I do like the Ferrari 488, it's a great car. I could go get that, I guess. But at the moment, I, I like I love this car. I can mod it. It's cheap parts, widely available. I can maintenance. Have this thing maintenance almost everywhere. Um, yeah. They do have they do have few things I need to fix on this car. Is the laziness of the engine. Um, I did contact the LME engine builder in Texas to build me an engine. Uh, they gave me two spec. Will be full engine about 600 to 700 horsepower with no force induction that will allow this car to drive a lot more like a C7R race race, race car uh, C7R only had 550 horsepower or 500 horsepower I think it went up to 550 so yeah well, if, if, it's, if it's just a full power engine hopefully the, the engine piston goes up a little bit easier without having to push in the force induction just something you need to experiment with. It's, it's just all a bunch of experiments. To having a thousand horsepower car will be fantastic, but I don't see the really the use of it. It's hard to drive around. You can get anywhere on the freeway. 
you can race with people it just it lose traction it's dangerous for yourself and the other drivers uh, yes yeah, the car is just too light to have that much horsepower and with no traction so oh perfect time oh I love it this really give a a good sense of lighting change And this is, again, this is a lighting testing video, not much vlogging. Lighting test, lighting test. This Acura passed me earlier. I'm getting my lane. Now I got stuck in front with, in the front. Ask this little guy. A little bit. It's a guy. It's a. That's a dude. Well, he's going home, I guess. That's where. That's the reason maybe he cut me off. He think I'm going too slow. He almost get home. I understand. I will do the same thing. At the moment, I don't really care for the amount of view on this particular video. It's more of a testing for myself to review many, 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 many times on YouTube. Uh, and also as a record keeping. So if anyone's wondering, am I even striving to get any views? No. It's just the camera setting. But if you like this, you want to use this type of camera. The good thing is this is almost a, like a middle range camera setting. You can go up and down. So it's, I choose this setting, allow me to go up and down based on the filter and settings and shutter speeds for that stuff I also play with uh, throughout the video I might play with the color just justification for the saturation or different things because right now we're decoloring allowed to do color editing so longer the video is more I can edit the color so you might see I change in different type of color editing throughout the video by cropping this and re-adding things on to here I look like a Lamborghini in front of me Lamborghini Urus Urus Lamborghini Urus, Urus, Urus. Yep, it is a Lamborghini Urus. It looks pretty good. It looks almost like a BMW M6. But that's about it. For SUV wise, I, I would get one too. It's nice. So the Lamborghini Urus right now, I would say maybe 30 feet in front of me. Not sure what it's gonna look like on the camera. Does it look too small or exactly like 30 feet? So hopefully we can really tell how it looks. Because when it's when it's uh when we don't have a D-warp on, everything is you know fish eye. When a fish eye things look smaller. Okay, I will end the video right here. Thanks for watching. Turn it back on because the lighting right now we just got a huge sunlight so hopefully this sunlight will read because it looks amazing on the on the phone we're also gonna do a testing exterior with sunlights out see if the lighting in this works out a little better Okay. Also gonna do a testing exterior with sunlights out. See if the lighting in this works out a little better. Okay. 
on the outside to interior. Looking at the interior. Yeah, it's very close to uh, what I actually see. I'm looking at the phone right now. Very close to what I actually see, the color and the lighting. Move on the outside to interior. Looking at the interior. Yeah, it's very close to uh, what I actually see. I'm looking at the phone right now. Very close to what I actually see, the color and the lighting.